so ever since I've uploaded my channel, I saw a lot of you were really liking my makeup videos. And a lot of you were like, can you help us? Can you maybe show us like a full routine and talk about your products? And I'm going to do exactly that. So let me put my hair up. I'm going to put it in just a bad little ponytail. Um, it's, it's actually like 1130 at night and I was, we, me and Ali were just sitting on the couch and I was kind of like, I kind of want to film, I want to go put some makeup on and film a video. So here we are. Let me find my little headband as per usual. Um, some of you were asking where I got this. Lex actually got me this for Christmas because it's got cat ears. It's so cute. Um, but I would guess like at stores like Five and Below and CVS, Amazon, even my cat is petting himself on this tripod. Do you want to say hello? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey. This is Finny. He's grumpy. Loveland's in here too. She'll be up here as soon as I pull my makeup out. Oh, okay. So normally I would start out my makeup routine with moisturizer, but because it's late at night, I'm not going to, but I'll show you one of the moisturizers I use that I really like. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge. It looks like, hold on, I'll do it like the beauty gurus do. Clinique Moisture Surge. It's, it's also pink, which makes it makes me happy oh my goodness um this is like a gel based formula and it sinks into the skin really quickly works for my skin i don't have a whole lot of um issues with my skin so i can kind of use whatever products i want i do have dry skin so have to keep that in mind and take care of that and nourish that but i also use the cerave moisturizer but i don't have that with me yet because we haven't fully moved in yet and i've put it somewhere so I don't know so first I get my little hand sanitizer like I always do um, in case you didn't know I'm a Bath and Body Works collector of sorts so I've got a lot in here of Germex so let me find my first product so first I go in and I prime let me pull all my makeup out I always start off priming and I use a mixture of high-end makeup which is like up in like more expensive and then drugstore. So both of my primers, I never skimp out on primers. I buy two expensive primers because I want my makeup to stay on my face. So first primer I use is the Tarte, Tarte, and it's the Timeless Smoothing Base. So it looks like this. And what I do is I just take a little bit. You have to, it's a pause. So you dig it in with your, you have to dig in with your finger and I just put it where my pores are the biggest. I put a lot on my nose just now. That's gonna come back to bite me in the butt. I run it in my smile lines. I put a lot on my finger. And then I'm gonna use, this is also Tarte. I really like Tarte just to let you know. Um, this is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Base Tape Hydrating Primer. Um, it says it in the name, you know, it's, it's hydrating. And that is what my face needs because I'm normal to dry and this just helps with the moisturizer. It just helps keep everything smooth and kind of tames down that dry skin. Um, ever since we moved here to the sanctuary, I've noticed a huge difference in my skin because I'm sweating like a whole lot more. So if you look, I'm gonna look right here. I've got a little bit of a pimple. My freckles are getting darker. Um, what else? I'm not having as many dry patches because I am sweating a lot more. Mr. Dry, you want your primers to be pretty dried down. You don't want to go in them, go into your face with another product on wet skin. Now, I use liquid makeup because again, I do have dry skin. So I start with liquids. And a lot of people were asking about this tinted serum that I use. So I'm gonna use it again today and hopefully it looks good today. So this is the Pacifica kind tint and it's a tinted serum natural coverage so this is also got is this vegan hmm okay this is interesting these are the claims it has on it it's multitasking interesting hydrating i agree and it's a tinted serum i would absolutely agree this feels very much like skincare with the tint it says it's got vegan collagen in it Hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is 
fantastic for your face. Hyaluronic acid is an ingredient that attracts moisture to your face. Um, I don't know if that's from inside your face or outside, but hyaluronic acid, I use hyaluronic acid. I don't have my little hyaluronic acid serum, but I do use that. Again, still unpacking. Has vitamin C, good. Niacinamide, great ingredient. Um, it's been a while since I've used niacinamide, but I think niacinamide help, can help with uh, blackheads. And it's got caffeine in it. I don't quite know how I feel about that one. Um, I don't notice it doing anything different to my face. So a lot of you are gonna, who know do makeup are going to say this is a no-no to put this directly on your face. But I'm going to do it anyway. Right. I'm looking at my face and I've gotten a lot more tan. So my makeup might not match my skin anymore, which is just a little bit sad. So, but we can always work a match. We can always fix with bronzer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can always fix with bronzer. Um, so what I'm noticing immediately as I put this on, I've used this before, just a heads up. Um, you can still see all of my freckles. This is just adding a light layer. And you know what? It doesn't look that awful. It kind of matches my neck. So that's not that bad. I've always said, if you're gonna do anything, match your neck. Um, I'm actually not gonna do that tonight. I'm not going to pull down my makeup to my neck because I'm just gonna take it off. Cause I play in makeup for fun. All right, let's blend, blend, blend. But yeah, when you're wearing makeup, you know, even if you're just doing powder, you really wanna take it down your neck. I also put it on my ears, that's a preference. So that your color, that just went all in my eyebrow, matches. And so that's just kind of my trade. I always say, if you're gonna do something, blend it down your neck. But like I said, I'm not gonna do it because I'm just gonna take it off in probably like 30 minutes or so. Um, and just another thing, you know, I don't wear makeup because I want to look prettier or anything like that. I genuinely just love playing in makeup. Okay. So you're actually witnessing here on camera, do you see that? I'm starting to kind of not like this product. I was, I used it one time and I think it was when my skin was a little bit drier. This is my Holy Grail brush, so hopefully, yeah, this is my Holy Grail brush. Whenever I have an issue, I use this and it saves the day. Um, I was liking it at first, I used it on a day I had really dry skin and it was doing really good and now, I don't really know how I feel about this because it's bunching up in some places. Not exactly doing it, doing what I want it to. Um, I see some bunching here on my nose. Don't love that. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, let's, let's try this. Let's push it in. Then I'm gonna take one of my mini sponges. I think I can push that in. Now here's the thing. I'm going to cover up those spots with concealer because this is light coverage anyways. Um, and I love me some concealer. So that's okay. We'll see how it looks in the end. And maybe we'll learn that, hey, this is probably not a product for everybody. Or this is not a Megan product. All right. I have two different concealers that I really like. Um, this is obviously my Holy Grail concealer. And as you can see, like, got a backup. So this is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty the Tarte Shape Tape Contour and Concealer. If you get it in a darker shade, you can liquid contour with it. I don't contour, don't like to contour. Um, so this is my Holy Grail. Uh, if I'm feeling kind of crazy and I don't want um, as drying of a concealer on me, I will use, this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, this was okay, not as much coverage. I tried it out because everybody says that this one was a dupe for this one and this is significantly cheaper. This is drugstore. This is higher end. I just didn't love it. Um, it smells really weird. So I don't always use it, but since I've used these in my last videos, let's go ahead and use this one. Now this one's significantly lighter. So let's just, let's try it out. Big doe foot applicator. Oh, it's reading much more yellow. Right. It smells like acetone and paint thinner. That was so strange. Okay. That, that is just so weird. Ugh, I hate this smell. 
truly hate the smell. I'm gonna have to wash my brush after I use this because I, I, <laughs> I don't like the smell. Hmm. Why is my under eye turning a weird color? Um. Hmm. I, I'm actually probably gonna throw this concealer out. She's a cat. <laughs> yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna throw this concealer away. I don't like it. I really, I. This is horrible. I. Okay, it's not really. It's not horrible. You're probably not even noticing what. I'm noticing, but that concealer's gone. I, I don't like it. So I'm going to take some of my Tarte and I'm just going to layer it on top of that. I know that that's a lot, but this concealer is great and I'm going to save the day with it. And it's not the coverage I don't like. It's that I can like, this fills in my pores really nicely in a good way. Um, this is the step of my makeup routine that I think really makes my under eye area look a lot more flawless. So I also, with my brush, I try not to pull and tug on my face too much. I try to do a lot of patting motions because then you create more wrinkles. Yeah, I'm just not loving the way my face looks with that concealer underneath, but I'm not gonna take it off. I don't like when my makeup doesn't look perfect. Um, so after I do concealer, I normally go in with powder. I have a couple powders. Um, I have a translucent setting powder, which means it's just powder and it just blends right into the skin. And this is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Love this stuff, more high end. I almost don't wanna show you this because it's not really fair but this is the Broadway Pressed Powder, Broadway Colors Pressed Powder. Um, I have two of them, as you can see, they're very busted, crusted. This is an all over face powder and it's got um, pigment in it, so you have to match this to your skin. This one, you don't. It's translucent, so not a big deal. I'm gonna use some of that because again, this is what, I can pour too much. This is what also fixes my face when I've got an issue going on, which that concealer has created. So this is gonna seem like <clears throat> a lot of powder. Um, I like my face to be set in place and I'm actually going to do something that's gonna melt the powder into my skin so it's not gonna be as powdery. But I really hit under those eyes because I don't want them to crease. And yeah, I just go all over and as you can see, um, my face just isn't as glowy anymore. It's more mattified. Ow, just found a sore on the side of my head. Okay. Ow. Powder in your eye. Be careful, guys. Um, and with powders, I used to use a really harsh brush when I was in high school. But now you should really use a fluffy brush. Use a really, really fluffy brush because it does wonders for your skin. You can also take powder on a blender and press it in. I don't do that because again, I don't like the way it makes my skin feel when I do that. It just doesn't feel like it lays down right. <sighs> Guys, so now that we look like a ghost, I'm going to move on to my favorite step of my routine, which is bronzer. Somebody asked me in the comments if I contour. I don't use contour because I have very fair skin and even if I get the lightest shade, it looks like I get punched in the face. I don't like that. So I do use bronzer. I take a fluffy brush. The bronzer that I use is, this is in a kit and I'm just kind of trying to use up this. So I've hit pan. So this is the bronzer. This is a blush that doesn't even show up on my skin. And then this is a highlighter if I choose to use it. So this is the Benefit Pretty in the USA palette. It's just a trio, but you can go and get their bronzer and the bronzer that's in this is the hula bronzer and you can go and get it 
and get a big thing of it or you can get a little one but hula's the color i use so bronzer i go a little heavy handed on bronzer and i just pack it on on the outside of my face to add some warmth because i am fair and once i put all that liquid product on i've got like a blank slate of a face and then I take it on my neck. Now again, this is gonna look like there's a little bit of a line because I didn't blend down my neck. Normally I would. This lighting in here is new and very deceiving. So here's my issue. And do you see this? This is not a freckle. There's freckles underneath. But this is where the tinted serum is pulling up and the concealer underneath is being disturbed. I do not love that. I do not love that at all. I do some raw on my mouth and I very gently just take some on my nose to give it some color. So that's all for bronzer. Very quick and easy. Then I take my blush. Um, I have a lot of blushes. I only have really one blush. Um, I got it because I wanted to try out this creator's brand. So I've got the Kylie Cosmetics. What is it called? Pressed blush powder in the shade. We're going shopping, it's very pretty. It goes very light-handed. Again, I only use blush to add some dimension to my face and you probably can't even see it because of the exposure here, but that's okay. I use some of it, I've had this for a while. Just use it to add some dimension. And then I go back in with my bronzer brush and I just blend all that back together or cover it up, however you wanna see it with that. This spot. It's gonna drive me crazy. So then we're done with that. If you wanna go in with highlighter, I'll show you what it looks like to go in with highlighter. Um, this is another palette um, that has bronzers in it. I The bronzer shades don't work for me. So this is, who is this? I think this is, this is the BH Cosmetics Belgian Waffle Six Color Baked Bronzer and Highlighter Palette. I use these bronzers for neutral eyeshadow shades. Um, so yeah, and then I can use these two highlighters and this I cannot, it's for uh, dark skin tones. So with highlighter, you're obviously putting glitter on your face. You wanna put it on the high points of your face. So I take, this is not the right brush for it, but I lost my highlighter brush. So I'm just gonna take the tip of this and I'm gonna put a little bit of it in the powder I'm using the shade Powdered Sugar, by the way. And I'm gonna take it on the high point of my cheek and I'm just gonna lightly dust. Can you see it? It should catch the light. Put a little bit more just for dramatics. Yeah, it's like straight glitter on your face. Um, It's pretty. It's kind of not trending anymore, so I don't really use it. I use it sometimes. Um, depends on where I'm going. I put a little bit on my nose. You can all have put it on your cupid's bow. Some people put it on their forehead. I don't like to bring emphasis to the texture on my forehead, so it's a no-go for me. Yeah, that's highlighter. Um, definitely not a necessary step. Definitely don't have to do that. So now we're in eyeshadow and I've done a purple look, but I don't think I've done a pink look yet. Um, I think in my first makeup video, I must've done a brown and in my teaching video, I did a purple makeup look. So this is the Morphe 35C Everyday Chic Palette. This is um, kind of high-end, but it's very affordable high-end. It's Well, no, it's kind of drugstore, but it's high-end quality. Look at that. That's a pretty shade. Maybe we do that. Maybe we do pinks instead. Let's do pinks. Let's do pinks. So we're still going to use this. Um, it doesn't really have any base mattes that I like in here for pink, so I'm going to get my other pink palettes out. Changing all the Duh. So pretty. So I'm going to go in with a light pink shade. This is the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. It's got mattes and shimmers in it and some glitters. So I'm going to do, so I'm going to take this. It has some brown on it. I'm just going to brush it on my skin. Actually, I might take this even and do that. Just brush some of it off. I normally have a thing that you can brush eyeshadow off with. So first I'm going to do my base, and this is a very, very, very light pink. I'm going to pack the shadow on. 
and I'm gonna go in my crease and I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna keep it very like rainbow movements, trying to blend easily, just try and create a quick wash of color and I'll slowly start to bring it up as I'm getting towards the end of my blending. And that just creates a nice outer shade and what you do on one eye, repeat on the other. This is my good eyeshadow eye. Um, so now I'm gonna add just on top of that with the same brush, I'm gonna go in just a little bit darker. This is the ColourPop by the Rose eyeshadow palette. Um, and I'm gonna take Sunday Soiree. I know that this is a darker pink, so I'm gonna very lightly tap it. And I'm going to just go right in that um, crease. And I'm actually gonna start bringing down to this little notch I've got in my eye right here to start deepening my outer corner. And I'm being very careful because this is a very, like deep pink and so if I apply lighter I can mimic the shade that I want. I want to hear what y'all's favorite um, makeup brands are. I've seen some Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals is good. I used to use Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals a lot. Their powders are great. Honestly phenomenal. Because we want to use this which is a pressed glitter. So I need some deeper pink, but not too deep. I still need to keep it light. So I'm gonna go back to this palette. I'm actually gonna use, I think, this and this combined. Woo! And put a little bit of that on top. And now I'm deepening my outer corner. That's very red, I don't like that. And then I'm gonna take that pink shade and I'm gonna go ham in it now that I used before. And I'm really gonna darken up that, that crease right there or the outer corner. Sometimes I even take the matte shade on my finger and I place it directly where I want it and then I blend. Especially on this eye. Okay, now it's time for this pressed glitter. Honestly, I think one of these shades would probably go better, but we're gonna try the pressed, pressed glitter. So with pressed glitter, it's gonna go everywhere. Really, you should put concealer on your eye, but I don't like that trick. But I'll show you the difference between a shimmer and a pressed glitter. So a shimmer on this finger is very smooth. Um, not nearly as reflective, so these are shimmers. This is a pressed glitter. <laughs> um, they're wild, they're chunky, and so it's gonna go on my under eye, which is okay, because I'll be able to wipe it away, hopefully, and I'm gonna try to be very targeted with where I put it. So I'm just gonna put it like right here. I always use my finger for this step. I don't hate it. And it helps best to not rub because if you rub, it's just not gonna do what you want. You wanna really press it in. Yeah. Really press it in. I rub a little bit first just to get it off my finger. And then once my finger is warmed up a little bit with product, then I press it on. No method or madness to this really. Um, I try not to get it too high up on my eye, but that doesn't always happen. And it's gonna stay on you. You're gonna find this glitter everywhere, honestly, if you use it. I'm actually gonna take my Broadway powder for this just because I don't wanna pour out more powder of my really, really good one. I'm gonna take my Broadway powder, coat my brush, and then I'm just gonna sweep under my eyes and sweep all that mess. And I'm just gonna sweep it all away. You can do that with the all eyeshadow. Um, not all of it'll go if you use glitter, you know. It's kind of in the territory that you're gonna have to just deal with it. Um, I didn't do the glitter application perfectly. I don't use glitter a lot. This was just a bonus that came with the palette. It's not, definitely not why I bought the palette. So now I'm gonna do my under eyes and I'm gonna go back in with this dark shade and I'm gonna grab my under, under eyeshadow brush, my under eye brush that I use for eyeshadow and pack that on 
shake it off a little bit, and then I'm just gonna tight line a little bit under my eye. At this point, after you do this, some people probably put eyeliner on. I don't like eyeliner at all. I don't like a felt tip eyeliner. I don't like a pencil eyeliner. I don't like it at all. Used to use eyeliner when I was in dance, but I don't anymore. Yep, and that's good, and I'll just blend it. If you look like you're wearing pink eyeshadow and you look like you've got pink eye, that's how you know you're doing it right. Then I'm gonna take my eyeshadow, my um, eyebrow brush, and I'm just gonna comb through them. I don't mess with them. Also, if you're wondering, my brushes with the gold handle and that look like this, all of these three, and all of my eyeshadow brushes, they're from Morphe, and this is e.l.f. This is also e.l.f. So, Real Techniques is where I get my sponges from. Real Techniques has really good brushes. E.L.F. has really good brushes. Morphe has phenomenal brushes. If you want to pay a lot for brushes, um, you can go to It Cosmetics. They have a lot of good brushes. And you can get all this kind of stuff at like Ulta and Sephora. Ulta has a drugstore section. Sephora does not. There we go. What do I normally do next? Next, I take my setting spray. If I can find it. Right here. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, long lasting. So I spray this to melt all the powders in place. I spray a lot, you're not supposed to spray it that close to your face, but who listens? Not me. And so I spray that to melt all the powders in together and to keep my makeup in place. Probably not the smartest thing to do given that I don't want this makeup to stay in place because I'm not too fond of it right now. The face doesn't look horrible. Not my favorite, but I'm picky and have very high expectations. So then I go in with my um, mascara. I don't wear false lashes, hate false lashes. If you like them, good, but I don't. So I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. It looks like this, not in waterproof. I don't like waterproof. I feel like the application's different. This is it, and then I just go in and I coat those bad boys. Definitely not my everyday look. So yeah, that's my mascara all done. And now, last part is lips. So since I'm wearing pink eyeshadow, that means I can do a pinky look. So I'm gonna take a lip liner. I mean, using the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Bare. And I'm just gonna lightly outline my lips a little bit. Not a lot. And that's just because I don't like my lipstick to go out of line. I really like Kylie Cosmetics lip, st lip stuff, so you're gonna probably be seeing that. Um, I don't delve much into lip products. Um, I also have this Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil. This is really good too, but it's in a really dark shade. Ooh, this one it is. Okay, this is Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Charm. Um, Lots of different kinds of lipsticks you can use. Liquid lips are very drying, but very long lasting. And it tastes like a vanilla cupcake, so. But yeah, guys, this is the look. This is everything I do. Sometimes I spray again. I'm not gonna spray again because that would be a bit excessive. So I put you off my tripod. Here we are. I hope that was my little setup with my Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I think we should get Ellie's reaction. I think I could have went a little lighter, but it's okay. Let's get Ellie's reaction. Hey, love. Will you come look at my makeup? No. Are you in the middle of a game? No. Will you come look at my makeup? Okay. It looks so good. <laughs> Are my eyes shiny? They are. It's glitter. Ah! No, I'm kidding. That's the last thing you do when somebody's wearing makeup is you smooch on them and make it smear all over. <laughs> I don't huh. know. I don't know if the viewers know this actually about my philosophy with makeup. Like, I fully embrace her creativity and kind of having fun, like the artistic side of things. Like we watch wrestling and they all have kind of eccentric face paint and makeup and stuff. So. I embrace that, but I, I always like it best 
when she has no makeup. Because so I can see that pretty natural face. Guess what? What? I like when I don't have makeup on either because then I can wipe my eyes and wipe my face. I, uh, even when we would go out to restaurants and stuff like that, I think that you, maybe at first you were like, you, you really don't care if I don't wear makeup. Like if we go to a restaurant or go out somewhere fancy, I was like, no, I don't care. We can go to them. We'd be having dinner with the Queen of England, and we just well, we, want, we want a plain face for that. We don't want makeup for even that. Sometimes I'll go out though with nothing on my face but mascara. No. Do you know what mascara is? The black on your eye, <laughs> your eyebrows, or not your eyebrows, eye, eyelids. I mean, he did he did my makeup one time, and he put the mascara in my eyebrows. <laughs> not right. Good job, Bubby. I, I love your shirt. It's your shirt. Oh no problem. Yeah, it's your shirt. <laughs> did a viewer send me that? No, I bought it for you. Oh, just for Christmas. I, I knew that. I was just kidding. Shame on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shame on you. Well, now, guys, now it's time to go wash all of this off my face because I'm over it already. Um, but, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you – ah, don't mind my dirty laundry. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Maybe you learned something new. I hope that kind of helps everybody who was asking about the products I use um, and kind of how I do my makeup. Yeah, that's my routine. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful day.